welcome aboard the TBM uh, 930 here in good old Microsoft Flight Simulator. We are uh, in a descent right now into Piarco International Airport on the island of Trinidad. We left uh, Anguilla about oh, an hour and a half ago. Um, this airplane uh, really does not cease to amaze me. I'm uh, going to 5,000 feet right now. First of all, the, uh, I mean, just the uh, avionics suite is sweet. This is the G3000 NXI um, that the working titles guys uh, have been working on. Um, this is Sim Update 8, by the way. And I really think that the most impressive thing about Sim Update 8 so far is these clouds. Um, and the performance is just fantastic. Um, the performance is, is just amazing. Uh, actually, I'm going to go down to 4100. I believe that's where I can go down to on the approach. Um, I don't have, I, I stupidly don't have my Navigraph charts open, which really doesn't make any sense. Um, so let's see here. Yeah, Emir is 4,100 feet, Lexor is 2,500, Talus is 17, which is glad self intercept. So we are going to direct Emira. And what that should do, what that should do, is activate the approach. I do not believe from the looks of things it did. Ah, uh, you know what I probably have to do? Let's go procedure. Let's go activate approach. Uh... Go MFD flight plan. Amira direct to direct. Because for whatever reason, may have just uh, I may have just managed to goof up this beautiful system that I was just telling you about uh, transition no let's go back RNAV 1-0 transition NAPCO Load and activate. All right, so let's get our heads out of the uh, 
Oh, I see what it's doing. It's, uh, <laughs> it is in a, it's trying to intercept the, uh, the, uh, heading here, which is, or the course, rather, which is left of where we are, so, um, But it's not, is it? And given the fact that there are mountains in these mountains in these clouds. I don't want to be messing around here. And then one of the really cool things, I was talking about how cool the clouds are. And you see there's these really... Actually, we should turn the pulse off right now. You just saw that pulsing light out here. Those you should turn off when you're in the clouds because they can be really disorienting. Um, so, as you can see, we are hard IMC right now, um, and so NAPCO at 4,100 feet, then Lexor at 2,500, so let's put in that next altitude. other thing we can do is start slowing down because you don't want to be at full bore here coming in and I would say this is, I mean, you can complain and say like, oh, these clouds look a little greeny, kind of, but I mean, honestly, I'm flying a TBM 930 uh, in the Caribbean, in IMC, in flight simulator with relatively no problems, I mean, I'm sure whatever I goofed on, or whatever happened, kind of with that, uh, with that flight plan issue, issue was certainly my fault, most likely. Um, so, we are. Let's see, six miles from Napco, so I'm going to bring the power back to 33% of torque or thereabouts. And what that is going to do is slow us down. PR Co traffic, TBM 9261 Whiskey, five miles from Napco on the RNAV 10 PR Co. Uh, two. The, uh, what's the two nine or eight two? Yeah, you know what? This is also a <laughs> you want a lesson in idiocy in an airplane? That was it right there. Because I had my altimeter setting uh, at the standard of two nine or nine two as opposed to two nine or eight two. I was actually a thousand feet, one zero 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 feet lower than I was supposed to be. And ladies and gentlemen, that is how you kill yourself in an airplane. If you've ever thought to yourself, gee, how can I kill myself in this airplane? Uh, 
that's one way of doing it. Um, I was actually thinking to myself, self, uh, these clouds are, or these, these hills are kind of, close in, or a little bit closer than I'd like them to be, as the first notch of flaps. And as you can see, I can't see out the windows, but I was thinking to myself, those look pretty close in. And guess what? They were very close in, and the reason they were very close in is because I'm not paying attention. And I had my altimeter set incorrectly. And that is actually, that is actually truly and realistically a way that you can kill yourself in an airplane. So fortunately, I survived my own stupidity. It's not a joke. I mean, that that is truly a way to kill yourself in IMC. And part of it is I I just I'm not in an instrument mindset right now. Uh, like I said, I don't have my charts open. Um, I've been flying this flight uh, VFR. wasn't really prepared. Um, for an approach, for an IMC approach, to be honest. And coming around on final right now. An instrument flying is as much a mindset as it is anything else. Um, yes, there is. Uh, you know, there is a, there is a, a technical as aspect to it, um, Piarco traffic, TBM 9261 Whiskey is on a 10 mile final runway 10 Piarco. And um, let's try approach mode and see if this is going to work. All right, gear down. Look at this. Look how beautiful this is. Alright, we're in flap range now. I'm going to put that second notch of flaps.
Piarco traffic, TBM 90261 Whiskey, 5 mile final runway 10 Piarco. And I mean, this is about as cool as it gets right now. I mean, if I can manage to. If I can manage to fly this, uh, this approach. And I know just from memory that the missed approach altitude is 4100, so I'll put that up. Uh. I'm actually going to kick off the autopilot right now. And that, that must have been for the yaw dampener. And I do want a little bit more power right now because I want some more airspeed. So I want to get a little more power in and then pitch the nose down. Piarco traffic, TBM 9261 Whiskey, 3 mile final runway 10 Piarco. And that was just one of the really coolest approaches that I've done in Flight Simulator, that's for darn sure. Piarco traffic TBM 90261 ski short final 10 Piarco. Uh, airspeed's good, vertical speed is decent. We're on glide slope, if not getting just a tiny bit below. Just a little bit of power, and I can feel that getting a little bit low. I'm assuming that's live traffic. I'm going to stay on it because I am right on glide path. beta because I need to come down the runway here a little bit before we get off. So, look at these clouds, these like dark, ominous, low-level clouds. I think this is just amazing. to get off the runway before we clean up the airplane. Let's 
So that was a pretty amazing approach, uh, flown in a pretty mediocre fashion by me, um, but it was fun. Um, Piaco traffic, TBM 61 whiskey is clear of the runway, Piaco. So we'll put the flaps up. And uh, that's really pretty much all you have to do in this airplane. Uh, this is kind of, to me, what's been missing in the Caribbean up until up until right now is these kind of... You'll have these days where late afternoon it gets just, uh, you know, like this. Kind of these grimy overhead clouds, these thick, like, thick, dark clouds. And, uh, I mean, to me, kind of, Flight Simulator has been sort of missing that. But, I mean, this looks fantastic. Um, this is Piarco International Airport on the island of Trinidad. Uh, this is a payware scenery that I bought who knows how long ago. Didn't think I was going to use it more than once or twice. Um, but now that I have started flying uh, more, you know, kind of longer haul types of flights, um, first in the CRJ and now in the TBM. In the TBM, I was talking about it a little bit before. Uh, honestly, this airplane almost is too easy to fly, sort of, in, in Flight Simulator. Uh, only because it's too easy to fly in real life. I mean, it's such it's such a simple airplane to, to start up. It's a simple airplane to operate, and this just looks amazing. Um, you know, it's a simple airplane to operate. Kind of getting some fishbowl effect here. I'm also about to hit American Airlines which would be poor form always poor form to hit another airplane on the ground no idea where I'm going I just kind of figured if I go over this way we get to see a little bit more of the airport uh, and I think what I'll do is I will avail myself of whatever parking is over here um It's just such an easy plane to start, an easy plane to operate, uh, and I mean with these avionics, like the the uh, the situational awareness that you have is excellent. You know, not that I proved that by almost flying into the side of a mountain, but. Um, <laughs> <laughs> uh, in the hands of a more competent pilot than me uh, this is an amazing avionics package and it works fairly well in Microsoft Flight Simulator which you really can't say about all of them now can you so to shut it down you just move the throttle over here pull it all the way back put on your parking brake Get your master, master caution so they stop yelling at you. And, I mean, that's literally it. That's literally it. We're done. Uh, and there's the really cool airport. And here is the really... I mean, that just looks so great. Um... So, definitely been really enjoying flying the TBM. Turn this off. Turn this off. 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 Just turn everything off. Um, definitely been enjoying flying the, the TBM. 
uh definitely been enjoying um sim update eight and if this weather is any indication of how awesome this is going to be um in the future i mean i've never seen this level of thick low clouds in the caribbean and the thing is you get you get you know five or six thousand feet in the air and of course you're just back into these bright clue bright clear blue skies and um so uh this to me is an absolutely amazing airplane highly encourage you to fly it if you haven't and that's it for uh for this edition of crashing into mountains with mike